Hey guys, my name is Matt Hernandez and today I'm going to talk to you about how you can improve your team portraits. Okay, so we're in the gym. We're about to take a volleyball portrait. You can see I'm got them, I've got them lined up here. One of the first mistakes I see sports photographers make is when they're taking team portraits is the angle. And that can really drastically affect the entire feel of the photo. So I shoot all of my, my team portraits with the wide angle lens. I typically use my 14 to 24 and I, I generally, I try to stay about around 24 because there is some distortion here. So, but I'm, I'm gonna use that distortion to, distortion to my advantage, but I'm gonna show you how not to use it first. So right now, just standing, Right where I am pretty much, I'm gonna turn around and take a shot. Okay, everybody act happy. Like you're happy to be here. One, two, three, good. So as you can see, because of the wide angle lens, I'm about the same height as all of them. So we're about eye level, but it looks in the photo like I'm looking down at them, which puts me in the dominant pose. And that's not what you wanna do, in my opinion, with sports team portraits is because you want them to be the ones that are dominant. You want them to look intimidating. So the easiest way to do that, especially with the wide angle lens like this one, is to either sit down or even go as far as to lay down all the way on the ground so you can look up at them and make them look big and intimidating. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, I'm down, which is gonna give me a better angle now. And I'm also gonna change their expression because I'm, because I'm down, they're gonna look a lot more dominant. Now they're gonna look bigger instead of me when I was standing up. So I want them to look a little bit more intimidating to reflect that. So we're gonna get rid of the smiles. I'm gonna keep them posed how they are for now and see what it looks like from this angle. All right, you guys ready? Everybody look right here. One, two, three, good. So as you can see, changing the angle from standing to laying down can, can really make the world a difference. And that, that vastly improved the photo already. I think going from smiling to not smiling helped a little bit too. It helped, it helped the feel of the photo. So now we can take it a step further and we can pose them a little bit differently. So the way that I typically like to do it, as you, as you see, I have them all lined up here. You see a lot of sports photographers do that. They just line them up in a straight line, all the kids or the team. And to me, that's just a little bit boring. I like it to be, I like to vary it a little bit more than that, just to give some dimension to the photo. So, so what I like to do is typically turn people different, like the players different ways so that they're not all facing the same direction to make it seem more random, almost like I just took a picture of them when they were on the field after they played a game, something to that effect, so it doesn't look quite so posed. So first of all, as you can see, all of them have a ball also, and I don't want that because it's a little bit too uniform. So let's take some of these away. Okay. Okay, so now another thing I'll do, this is only five players, so it's not as big of a deal, but a lot of times I will stagger if I have two lines like this, so that gives a little bit of depth too and I can fit more people in because they can overlap slightly rather than being in a straight line. Since there's only five, it's not going to be that big of a deal. We might stagger them a little bit, but the main thing I'm going to do here is turn them. So Lily, I want you to turn that way, rotate your body that way, good. Uh, let's put the ball on your left hip, good, and your right hand on your right hip, and then spread out your stance just a little bit, okay, good. All right, Haley, turn that way. I'm going to have you put both hands up on your hips. Good, rotate towards me a little bit more so I can see that back arm. There you go, good. All right, Hannah, turn that way. Hold the ball about like this. Rotate your hands up just a little bit so they're not so straight. There you go, good. Make sure you're, you're standing up real tall, good. All right, Tessa, I want you to angle that way and cross your arms, scoot forward just a little bit and then shift your weight so, you're, so it's back on your back leg. There you go, good. Rotate towards me a little bit more. There you go, good, okay. Hannah, scoot that way a little bit now. Spread out your stance just a little bit. Okay, Casey, you angle in. Let's put the ball on your left hip, right hand on your hip, just like that, good. Tessa, actually, since their weight is distributed pretty evenly, why don't you just kind of even yours out too? There you go, good. Okay, all right. Hannah, come toward, rotate towards me a little bit more. Scoot that way a little bit. There you go, good, okay, so now, as you can see, I've got the same pose with the two girls on the end, but because they're turned different ways and they're both on opposite sides, it doesn't really look like the same pose. So you can reuse them if you want, but it's important to, to not have them maybe turn the same direction. So we've got arms crossed, ball in the middle, hands on hips, and then the same pose on the end, but they're both angled differently. They're both angled in. So just and so this is kind of like the finishing touch. This really, this really helps polish it off and make it look a lot more intimidating, serious sports portraits. So now that we've got them posed the way we want, that's really gonna finish off this photo. So I'm gonna get back over here, lay down and take a few more. And thanks for watching. I hope everybody learned something and we'll see you next time. Yeah.